Hi, I'm Jim Hendricks. I'm here at the Fort Lauderdale International Boat Show. Today I'm aboard the Scout 357 LXF. Now this is the successor model to the very popular Scout 355 LXF. LXF meaning luxury and fishing. And here to tell me a little bit about this boat today is Alan Lang. He's with Scout Boats and he's going to fill me in on all the details and the great new designs here. Alan, thanks for being with us. Tell us a little bit about what went into the design and engineering of this new model. Absolutely. Thank you, Jim. So some of the things we've changed is the transom door. We redesigned that a little bit. The bait wells in the back, we have two lids now that fold over independent of each other and they have cutting boards on the back. You also notice on the port side, we've changed that door there as well. Reminds me of a bank vault. It's just very large and sturdy. So the cockpit is a little bit longer on this bottle. And then once you move forward to the bow, you'll notice we have butterfly coolers on the gunnels of both the port and starboard side. So the people up front, they don't have to go to the back for a cooler or drink, whatever. And then we've got incorporated bow seating backrests on either side, port and starboard as well. Certainly fits in with the luxury part of the equation there. I love those. That's very clever design with those coolers up front. Tell me a little bit about the fishing uh, capabilities of this boat. So lots of rocket launchers, rod holders everywhere. The boat itself, just in the construction and going offshore, the boat is epoxy infused. So it's not only hand laid, but it's epoxy infused. We bake it in the mold at 145 degrees for eight hours, which makes for a super strong, you know, not only grade A finish, but very strong, a little bit lighter, high performance, so good speed, good fuel economy and handles the waves like butter. Yeah, I sight down the side of the hull. There's no waviness, no waffling in that. That thing is smooth as butter, I'm telling you. You know, Alan, I, before you got here, I was down in the cabin checking it out. I almost took a nap down there. It's air conditioned, it's so comfortable. Tell us a little bit about all the features that we'll find down there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it sleeps too. Like you said, the, the center cushion can be removed and you've got a wraparound couch. You've got a flat screen TV down there, a couple of speakers. You have uh, lighting on either side with the windows and then also intermittent windows that fold down and give you a little bit more breeze. I noticed those, those are great, like portholes, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. th that's a very clear, I don't think I've ever seen that in, in, in any boat. Yeah, windows inside of windows, yeah. if you will. And there's a head down below, AC like you mentioned. There's tons of storage, access to the back side of the console, vessel sink, uh, pull out refrigerator, lots of counter space. And we try to emulate a nice home. Whenever you go down below, it looks modern. Everything is nice colors, nice touch, and something you know mama would like as well. God, speaking of conveniences, I was looking at the rear-facing seat here behind the helm seats. I noticed that it folds down and becomes a little workstation with some cup holders. That's a very clever design. I think it's fairly unique to Scout, isn't it? Yeah, we came up with that idea in-house and it's been great. You know, you fold it down when you're not sitting there and you got a little table. Well, I love it for fishing because you always need a place to throw, you know, knickknacks and things like that while you're rigging tackle or you're catching fish, whatever. I also noticed three Mercury 400 Verados on this V10 engine. Oh uh, yeah, that pushes this boat at about mid 70s. Wow. Yep, super quiet, super smooth. I mean, great performing boat. Yeah, and they're in that classic Scout white color. Yeah, yeah, the Pearl Fusion white is exact yeah, color yeah. match. And the exact color match, it looks spectacular. What else can you tell us that, you know, about this boat that really stands out that, that, that buyers need to know. You know, the construction is very unique. We're, as far as I know, we're one of, if not the only 100% hand-laid coastal fishing boat manufacturer on the market today. And then once you epoxy infuse that and you add all these appointments and you combine that with the lines and the style of the scowl, that Carolina flair, that's what most of our customers are coming back and telling us is just the most beautiful lines they can see. And as they dig in and start to learn more about the construction of the boat, that's whenever they really start to appreciate Scout. Then when they ride it and they take it for the test drive and see how well it holds together and how strong and solid it is, they're just fans for life. Yeah, so you get drawn in by the good looks, but then you find out this is a solid boat that will last a lifetime, can fish forever in the nastiest seas. I understand that you can order an optional sea keeper for, for this boat. Well, you can, yeah, Sea Keeper 3. We actually have about 70, 75% of our customers opt for that Sea Keeper. You know what? I love the side door. It's so convenient for boarding. You step right off a floating dock right onto the boat. And 
When you're out fishing, you can easily board a big tuna, a big yellowfin tuna, or even a swordfish. And then you've got the transom door as well. I love that. We actually boarded from the transom door. It's absolutely the most convenient way I can imagine from stepping off of a dock onto the boat. You'll also notice too on that transom, we've got rid of our splash wells on all of our newer models. So you can walk across that transom real easy if you got to get to the engine or if you're docked up somewhere, you know, walking across, you don't have to worry about slipping in all that rigging and wet splash well. That's right. And those Mercs, so I noticed that, you know, they've got the electric steering. So it's like fingertip steering, whether you're like in the harbor, you know, or you can use the joystick too, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thanks, Alan, so much for taking us through the boat today. We appreciate it. It's very exciting. So if you'd like to learn more or even build yours today, visit us online at scoutboats.com. For boating and saltwater sportsmen, I'm Jim Hendricks.